All right, today I'm going to discuss about these vector questions. The reason why I discuss this vector question because I find it a bit unusual. That means it is not like the normal vector question you do every day, but it's not really a very hard question here. So oh, over here you have a triangle they call RST is an isosceles triangle and vector R, which is vector R and vector T, which is the length of it, because you see the modulus, right? It's mean the magnitude. That's mean the length of these two lines is 13 units. And RT, the, the length of the RT will be 18 units. So length basically means magnitude in vector, all right? Mean the ma magnitude for RT will be 18, and magnitude for ST and SR will be 13. All right, and then the question will ask you to find R plus T. So in order to find the R plus T, then you will need to think where is actually R plus T. Yeah, because a lot of students, their first sense tell them that R plus T basically is RT. Because it seems like R plus T, you will get RT, but in this case, it is not. All right, so because we already have RT, the length of it is 18, right? And then we have the length of this one, I mean the magnitude of T will be 13, and then the magnitude for R will be 13 as well. Right, but where is the R plus T? Because you can think like this, because this arrow actually facing uh, from R to S, right? So, and then this one is not from S to T. So you ask me what is the vector for RT? Will be R minus T. So because in order to make this one as a resultant vector, basically these two direction must be follow it. So in order to have RT here, my vector must be this vector plus this vector. So you can see these two arrows need to be continuous. one. That means you can see this vector is actually going from T to S, right? Which is the opposite direction. So therefore, this line is not R plus T. So if you want me to tell you what is this line, I will say this is R minus T modulus. Accidentally, I cut it. So this is capital T. Alright, so vector RT basically is R minus T, it's not R plus T. Then where, where is the R plus T? So therefore, we need to kind of solve out this triangle here. So in order to get R plus T, so what I will do over here is, okay, let me just copy this triangle first. This is R, this is T, and this is S. Alright, so let's say this vector is T here, then I will duplicate one more T here. Assume this is a straight line, like even though my drawing is not so straight. This is T. And this is the vector R, isn't it? So therefore, R plus T basically is this line. Do you see that? R plus T. So basically, you see what happened here. From this triangle, I copy here. So this triangle here, basically I copy in this triangle. Alright, so what I'm doing here is, I add the vector t by myself because I know t basically means must be same length and must be toward the same direction. So as long as this line is exactly parallel to this one and they are same length, so I can duplicate as many as I want. I can call it, if I duplicate double of it, I just call it 2t. If I want to duplicate double of it in opposite direction, I just call it negative 2t. So I can do that if I want. So right now, at least we understand something is we want to find this line. So this line is what we call R plus T. So the difficult part about this question is because this line you cannot straight away see from the triangle given. However, how to get the length? Then you kind of need to solve the triangle because this vector question actually you will use a solution of tri uh, solution of triangle formula, which is a cosine rule, is not mistaken. So basically I have this triangle RST. I have the length 13 and 13 and 18. Right, so the first thing is in order to get this line right, I will need to find this angle. But before I can find this angle right, I need to know what is this angle. So this angle exactly is this angle, isn't it? When you have two sides, you want to find angle, we know actually we use a cosine rule. Okay, cosine rule is A square equals to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. Alright, then from this formula, what I will do over here is I will make the cos A as a subject and I form a new formula which is cos A will equal to the B square plus C square minus A square over 2BC. So basically it's the same formula. What I'm doing here is 
I basically I move my two BC cos A to the other side. I move my A square to this side, and then you will see B square plus C square minus A square, right? But I want cos A only, so therefore I move my two BC to the bottom. I got that formula, and I'm going to use that formula. So I'm going to erase this one. I just tell you how I got that formula. Alright, so now the next problem is what is the ABC? Alright. So normally, normally the angle I want to find, I will call it A. So this one will be my angle A. The length opposite of my angle A will be the small letter of A. And then B and C is just the two sides of the angle A. It doesn't matter which one is B and which one is C, you will still get the same result. So therefore, if you understand everything here, then I can find the answer easily. B and C is 13, right? So it's 13 square plus 13 square minus a will be 18 square over 2 13 13 all right then i will use the calculator i can get the angle a here of course how do i get the angle a, a is i will type everything from here uh, from the calculator uh, then what i will do is i will move my cost to the other side i will get the inverse cost and I, I will get the final angle so i'm going to type quickly here 13 square plus 13 square minus 18 square and then divided by 2 multiplied 13 multiplied 13. Alright, so I get 7 over 169 or 0 0.0414 and then I will do shift cos my answer. So I will get the angle in degree is easier for me. I should get the angle is 87 point six three degree all right that means this angle is 87.63 and this one is a straight line if this one is a straight line we can easily get this angle by doing 180 minus this angle so i will do 180 minus my answer just now i will get this angle i want which is 92.37 all right so if this angle is 92.37 Actually, I can get this length by solving another triangle. So I'm going to draw out this triangle somewhere here. I hope I didn't block the calculate uh, block the camera. So I'm going to draw out this triangle. Okay. So from here, this is T, right? T we know is thirteen. So this is thirteen, and then this one R is thirteen. This is thirteen, and then this angle over here is ninety two point three seven. And I want to find the opposite length, right? It's cosine rule, which is the R plus T modulus. So therefore, R plus T modulus, I will just use the cosine rule over here, which is A, which is B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. Alright, so it's 13 square plus 13 square minus 2, 13, 13 cos 92.37. And then I will square it. Right. Why I will have square root? Because the cosine root just now basically have a square in it. I move the square to the other side. This is the reason why I got the square root. And b and c is just two sides of the angle I have. b, c. Alright. And then cos angle on between. Remember how to use a cosine rule. Then I just type in the calculator. I should be able to get my answer correct. 13 square minus 2 times 13 times 13 times cos. 92.37 and then I square root my answer so my length will be 18.76 units all right so this kind of question actually is not really hard but then it's not really easy either because it seems like a vector question but it's mixed together with the solution of triangle and then it tests how much you can understand about r plus t because a lot of students think R plus T, it seems like R plus T. But then they don't see carefully about the arrow. So the arrow might make you make mistake for this kind of question. However, if you understand what is R plus T, and second thing you need to know is you will need to draw this vector T by yourself and then form another triangle here. And then you can get the R plus T from the next triangle. Then after you solve it, you should be able to get the final answer correct here. Right, I guess that's all for this video. I hope in the future I can make more this kind of video for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.
拜拜。